Welcome to lesson one of Learn C. Um, and this is a really short lesson. We're just going to write our first computer program. And I'm also going to uh, tell you about some organizational help that uh, I want to offer you. Um, I think it's a good idea to have all your C programs for this course in one folder. And you should back up. You should save that folder a bunch um, every time you use it, basically. Um, so let's do that first. First thing is uh, let's make a folder where we put all our data. I, I like to put it in my desktop, but to, you know you can put it in your uh, documents, wherever you really want to put it. C code. I put it on my desktop for class, basically, because um, uh, it, people can see it better that way. And, um, and then you just start Dev C. Um, when it first comes up, there might be some things you have to click to get rid of it, but then you just go straight to File, File, New Project, Console Application. All For this class, all of our um, projects are going to be console applications, and they're all going to be in C. Um, the default here is C++, but I've clicked C, and I, then I clicked Make That the Default Language. And then we'll call it something. Let's call it um, Lesson 1. A. And then I want to put it in my folder here, C code. And then there's, and then there's one other step. Um, the, the other step is I want to um, create a new folder in here. Lesson one. I want a folder for each project I have. That's a, another uh, advice on organization for this class. And save it there. So, so now when I go to C code. You see that now there's a folder lesson one, and there's this project. It's a dev C project file called lesson one. Up crops this um, um, file in an editor, and it's called main. Um, the, the most C programs are, that are run are going to be run as this thing called main. And it's got a whole lot of stuff in there. I'm going to talk about what the, all that stuff is next time. And the main guts of all programs are between these two curly braces here and here. So between those two curly braces is where you write your program. So um, this is a one line program. It's a printf, printing out to the console screen. Uh, open parentheses, then quotes, double quotes. Hello, come on, world, backslash, backslash n. So the backslash on my computer is right underneath the backspace, right above enter. Uh, it's usually on the right side, not forward slash. Um, so uh, that's a difference uh, that you have to do. And then I go to the end of this line, and then I press semicolon. So almost every line in a C program ends in a semicolon. Um, and that's the first program that we wrote. Let's save it. So we go up here, we can click this save button. It says, do you want to save this main program? It's a C source file. Yes, I want to save it. So then when I save it, I look in C code, look in lesson one. And there's main.c. It says C source code. That's fine. Next, what I want to do is I want to uh, actually um, compile it and executing it. So compiling a program is turning it from C programming language to an executable programming language, uh, an executable language for the computer. So that's this compile statement. Click. Should come up zero er errors and zero warnings. It does. And then you can just do run. It says hello world. So that's the thing that says hello world. It's got all this other stuff here too, which is part of this dev C environment. And then press any key to continue. I was almost always press the space bar. It's just a habit. That's it. That's your first program in dev C. Um, one little note is in order for this to work for me, I had to turn off my real time a virus scanning system. I have McAfee on here, so you might have to turn off your um, uh, real-time checking of, of viruses or uh, corruption. Um, a lot of hackers use C and executables and dev C type stuff, so uh, that's why it, um, some virus program, antivirus programs uh, target uh, dev C output. And um, just to um, look at what um, compiling and executing did, we can look in lesson one here, and more files came up. So now there's um, all sorts of other uh, files in here. There's this one, lesson one. It's a .exe file, and it's an actual application. So 
what the compiling did was actually produce an executable file. There's a lot of other stuff in here that we're never going to use. Um, that's the end of this um, first lesson. Um, kind of a little challenge for you, a homework problem, so to speak, is find out what the term backslash n means. You can Google it, uh, but you can also experiment with it. Take it out of the program, recompile and rerun the program, put it back in. Find other backslash characters in the C programming language and see what they do as well. Uh, so the best way to learn sometimes is just to play around with it, experiment with it, and this Hello World program is easy to find out what backslash characters do. That's the end of the first lesson. Thank you.